Well, hello my loves and welcome to today's video. Today's video, what, what do I say about it? Um, we're gonna be transforming the front room of my house. <laughs> now you may be looking at this room and wondering why, Ashley, why do you need to attack and it belittle your front room like that. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with it. However, it could use a seasonal revamp. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you know what? I did a thing. I did a thing. I bought a book, but not just a book. I bought many books in typical Ashley form. I couldn't just have one thing. I had to have all the things. Now, all of the books that I bought, they are sort of home decor books and they have really fun and inspirational um, ideas. I, I was a sucker and I totally bought them from Home Goods. This one was just 20 bucks and I love it. This one was from Home Goods. They're all pretty much from Home Goods because Home Goods suckers us in like that, ladies. So what I really like about this book is it's got a lot of pictures in it because <laughs> who's got the time to read? I like the pictures a lot. And what I want to do with this room is take it and make it feel cozy make it feel less cluttered, and just sort of like take pictures from the book and you know make this room my own. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, if you're new here, my name is Ashley. I both collect and resell vintage goods and antiques. Normally I do thrifting and antique shopping vlogs. However, today we're not doing that, but you're welcome to subscribe if you'd like anyways. And also, uh, if you can, before we just dive on into even more rambling, if you can hit that big, beautiful thumbs up button down below, I would really appreciate that. You guys don't know how much it really helps me. Now, <laughs> we're dealing with atrocious artificial lighting right now. So I apologize. We're just, we're just gonna deal with it. Anyways, I'm gonna give you a tour of the room, how it is now. And then we are going to take some things that I bought and thrifted. We're just gonna shift the room into a whole new vibe. Now, right now, the room has sort of a blue, I don't know, vibe going on. I don't really know what I was aiming for here. I think because of the rug and it having blue in it, I felt compelled to buy all the unnecessary decorative throw pillows and somehow turn this into an ocean themed room. And while it may have been kind of cute for the summer, I'm pretty much over it. I, again, like I said, I want more earthy elements. I want it to feel really homey and textured. Here's my macrame owl gallery wall. I love the texture that they bring. This does not help the minimalist look that I'm going for, but you know, they cute. So we'll, we'll let them just chill. We'll let them chill in the wall. But I want to take all these colors and really they got to go and all this unnecessary clutter. What are we doing with ourselves? We don't know. So yeah, we're gonna totally transform this thing. Oh, well, hello, you little creeper kittens. All right, so the inspiration for this room is going to be taken from these three books here. They all kind of do the same uh, thing and have the same vibe, which is what I'm going for. We have Joanna Gaines here. I love her style so much. Who doesn't? I mean, let's be honest. And uh, in this book, it's titled Homebody. She talks a lot about six different types of books for the home. You got the farmhouse, the modern, the rustic, the industrial, the traditional, and the boho. And then she gives some beautiful pictures and examples of. And next up, we have the travel home. Even just looking at the front cover of this book, you can kind of see that it incorporates a lot of the elements that this book does. It's got a lot of neutrals, a lot of textures, and it's just, it's amazing. And then this book, ooh, let me, let me tell you about this book. This book here is called The Inspired Home, Interiors of Deep Beauty. And looking at the front cover, you can see, again, it has the same sort of vibe of um, these other two books. Oh, this page here, ooh, I love it. I especially love the dark wood, the dark natural colors, and it's just amazing. So yeah, all three of these books kind of have the same gist, the same vibe on home decor, and that's what I'm going to be working with. So, will I come out with a Magnolia Home masterpiece? We don't know, but we are going to dang try with things that I either already have or a couple things I've just bought from Home Goods. So, all right, let's get to it. First step of this transformation, I'm going to take this table. I actually thrifted this table from Goodwill. 
it was just $9.99 plus tax. And it's a beautiful gold, uh, you know, very mid-century modern maybe table. <laughs> it's got a bunch of cat prints on it right now. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with this table. In fact, I love this table. However, I have one in my great room that I think I'm going to switch out that will work perfect for giving this room that texture that I want. So we're going to do that. I didn't say that that was a completely miserable experience. This piece of glass like weighed a ton. But anyways, the table I'm gonna snatch from this here great room is actually a chicken crate. We're getting innovative here. I actually won this at an auction about two years ago. I filmed it, I vlogged it, I did. And <laughs> I snagged it for just 30, I think $33. So I don't know, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But this room, I don't know what vibe we have going on in here. We sort of have a nautical theme going up there. So maybe if I switch out the blue pillows from the front room into here and take these fine little rustic pillows, we can make it all happen. So let's, let's switch out the pillows, switch out the tables and see what that gets us. Well, that certainly didn't take long for Milo to make it his own. So we got the chicken crate in here and now we are going to tackle this monstrosity of just oddly paired blue pillows. Put them in the other room since there's already hints of blue in there and swap them out. All right, we have a clean canvas of couch just perfectly awaiting for throw pillows. Am I right, ladies? Sorry, fellas, but it's a thing. You just gotta understand women, we love throw pillows and the couch is not for sitting, it's for looking at. So, <laughs> I'm joking. Not really. Who am I kidding? I'm not kidding. We all know that women love to hoard pillows and it's a thing. Anyways, uh, I keep trying to adjust the lighting so it's not super all over the place, but it is all over the place and I apologize. Anyway, so I snagged three pillows from the living room. They have that beautiful rustic kind of textured look that I'm going for. It's got the browns, it's got the whites, it's got the beautiful even like little uh, accent beads there. So I'm gonna use these that I already had. And then I got this pillow from Home Goods. It was $12, had to do it. And then I got this one and I'm not even gonna tell you guys the price because um, it hurt my wallet a little bit, but thank God for credit cards, am I right? So uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle this couch now and you guys can watch that in a time lapse. And we did it. Next up, I know you guys are wondering what the heck is with the wicker army green elephant ashley well i bought it to resell so it actually has no business uh being here in this room so i'm gonna move that listen on facebook marketplace and get it out of the way and just like that the elephant in the room is no longer there however we got this uh clutter here this is a tubware full of things that i was also trying to sell on facebook marketplace so i'm gonna move those and while this is really cute it's just not the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to list this as well and move this guy out of the way. And it's gone. Okay, now we got this eyesore and we got this eyesore. I actually think I'm gonna take this and I don't know, either put it in a different room, try to list it. Maybe it can sit out on the front porch for a while and look cute. I don't know what I want to do with that, but it just doesn't make the cut. It's a little, um, I don't know, it doesn't have the minimalist look I'm going for unless I take these flowers out, but that's beside the point. So we got this treasure chest that's just kind of killing the open flow of this side of the room. So I'm going to try to find a place for that guy. So I got this absolutely stunning antique uh, horse collar mirror and guess what i bought this at an antique store i want to say for how much did i pay for that i think 75 dollars like three years ago then look what i got Ooh, it's 
beautiful. I thrifted this at Savers for just $6.99 a couple months ago. And I don't know what kind of canvas they used or media. It looks like maybe a velvet painting, but it's just a beautiful horse. So if we can kind of find an area for these two to be next to each other, that would add a nice little look to it. Next thing I want to tackle is this eyesore over here. So I do live on a golf course and I have collected every single golf ball I have found in my yard since I moved in and I've acquired a bundle of them. However, I don't know if they're really sightly to look at, so I'm going to switch this out. And it's gone. And oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys this. This is probably one of my favorite Goodwill finds I've had in a long time. This is actually a beautiful, let me just, eh, that wasn't well planned at all. A beautiful vase. Uh, it's a very heavy piece of pottery. I love it so much. Look at me just abusing this thing right now. And I only got it for $3.99. Now, I do not believe this is a vintage piece. This actually looks like it might have came from Home Goods because I have a piece very similar to this and it's marked in the way that Home Goods would mark a piece. So, if this, according to my calculations, if it was a Home Goods piece, it'd be $25 because that's how they mark it. And the fact that I only got it for $3.99 at Goodwill, ooh, a girl, it's a moment. I really, really love this. It is so pretty. It's got like the colors I love. I mean, look at my nails. I love black, white, gold, gray. Um, obviously it's just got kind of black, white, and gray in there, but I love the crackled look. This is a good textured piece, I think, not to mention, you know, just the whole vibe of it. So this is really pretty and goes perfect with that neutral look. <laughs> to do it but how gross is the lighting getting and it's not even five o'clock so i'm actually going to continue decorating and printing up this room and i'm going to show you guys in the morning in way better lighting all right last look around here we go This lighting is so much better and so is the room. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me show you around. So starting over here where I have some of my displays, I went ahead and just changed a few things around. I had this absolutely just beautiful uh, painting that I actually found at the Goodwill bins, so it's not priced because I paid by the pound and it weighs pretty much close to nothing, so it was probably like maybe 20 cents, if that. Oh, just stunning scene. I put that there. I had this like dying cactus here, so I replaced it with this um, fur drum that I found at an antique store. I believe this was $10. So those were two happy improvements. And then over here next to my dramatic vase, <laughs> I love it so much. Come on guys, give it credit. I switched out, I had this little like stone pyramid and I switched it out for this beautiful vase. Again, I guess I'm just really on a pottery kick lately and I just love, love the colors of this one. And I actually got this at Goodwill for $2.99. So guys, thrifting pays off. I mean, if you do it long enough, <laughs> that's what she said, you're gonna eventually find some good things. And then over here, oh, let me show you guys this. Oh my goodness. It's so stinking cute. It's this tiny little hand painted picture. Look at it compared to my hand. Like it's, it's really not that big, but it's so, Cute. I actually got this out of state at a Goodwill. How much did I pay for this thing? I paid only two bucks for this. Ooh, that's pretty impressive. I got this, I think, out in Indiana, I believe, and I'm really bad about hanging it back up on the hook. What's going on here? There we go. I did it. Okay. All right, there we go. And then beneath that, where I had put the antique horse collar along with the horse picture, 
I sort of tidied up this display and just changed a few things around. I took out the dead succulents that were in here. I put this little like wooden stirrup up here. I just, I tidied it, I cleaned it up a bit, added a few things. All right, well, let's talk about this side of the room now. I kept the wicker stand, even though I don't really have too much wicker going on in this room. I felt like uh, with the colors, it worked. And I hung more things up here on the gallery wall. I did leave some blank spots and it's not finished yet, but that's because I'm not done. These are all antique store finds. This picture, that picture, and this picture. This is actually a hand-painted mirror done by an artist who goes by Ram. And I found that for 40 bucks. And then, ooh, this was actually a Goodwill score, this tiny little hand-painted canvas here. And then I kind of decluttered this wicker stand, but then I added some like faux flowers to this antique or vintage typewriter, I should say. And I, I really like the look of it. It kind of pulls like the whole forestry vibes of these paintings together. And I think the warm, happy colors are just perfectly fitting. And I added some sleigh bells just for some pizzazz. So that's what I did there. Why does his tail twitch like this? He's such a goof. <laughs> You're so weird. Oh, look at him. He's, he's, he's the bestest boy. Oh my gosh, he's totally stealing the show, guys. He's totally stealing it. I'm gonna let him have this moment. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, uh, really quick. So on this wall, I wanted to thank a couple people actually. So this big owl up here was gifted to me by a super sweet subscriber named Julie. Thank you so much, Julie. It is one of the most impressive macrame owls in my collection. And then down here, there's an, another incredibly stunning owl. Look at him. He is large and in charge. And actually, Laura and Selena over at The Recycled Life gifted him to me. So thank you so much for him. I love him. And then a dear friend gifted me this as well. You know who you are. Thank you so much. We got this random little baby owl just like chilling. And I love him. I don't remember where I found him, but I found him, I think, at some antique store. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for contributing to my owl hoarding, my little owl rescue here. And then I took a bunch of baby owls, I call them that, but they're just little owls that I have, and I hung them up on this small wall space I had here because uh, they just fit ever so perfectly. So that's what I did. And we're having an owl kind of moment. <laughs> and now we will jump on over to the chicken crate slash coffee table and talk about this. So I wound up finding one of these, what would you call it? I'm going to call it a circle, for lack of better words, a circle tray. <laughs> a plus wording, Ashley. Uh, I got one of those and I wound up putting all of my books in them. A shout out, there's the books that uh, inspired it all. And we got some faux fur, just accent piece going on here. And um, don't worry folks, the candle is strictly just for your own aesthetic pleasure. Uh, that won't be staying lit here on the wooden table for any means other than this video. Cat's just having a good scratch over there. Oh, look at the whole fam coming to join us. Okay, wow. It's a moment. Anyways, uh, the cactus, they stayed. I didn't have the heart to do anything different with them, even though they look like a hot mess. I just have a random crystal. This is selenite right here. This is a big chunk of it. And I just liked it, so that's what I did with it. And let's jump on over here. Over here, we have a lovely tea moment going on. I do love my tea, so I thought this was a nice way to sort of incorporate my personality into the room, as if the room already wasn't 
full of my personality. <laughs> but yeah, so this I, I don't remember where I got this to be quite honest with you, but this I got at an antique store quite a long time ago. It's a Tetley tea bag tin. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I like the blues. It kind of gives tribute to the blue carpet. And actually the colors kind of match it fantastically. And this was actually gifted to me by a friend who went to Missouri. I really, really do love this. It's got a very weathered and used look to it, but obviously uh, that's kind of the vibe that I like, looking at this rusty bit here. But yeah, thank you so much to the friend that got me this. And then naturally, because I'm a girl, to go along with the throw pillows, we have to have a candle. And guess who suckered me in and got my money? from a candle. None other than TJ Maxx because they are just as guilty as home goods of just ruining us women and making us buy throw pillows and candles so unnecessarily, but it's not unnecessary. Anyways, that was a really a uh, lot of long rambling for no reason. This candle is called Fireside. It is a beautiful blend of wildberry fir, vanilla, cinnamon, cedarwood, and sandalwood scents. And that sounds probably pretty terrible, but it's actually pretty amazing. I love the mountainous picture scene it's got going on here. And yes, I'm very well aware that mountainous is not a word, but it is in my vocab. So yeah, I wish you guys could smell this. It's so nice and cozy, but whoopsies. And that pretty much sums up the room and the improvements I made. I think they're improvements. At least they're a lot less cluttered. Really all I basically did was uh, declutter, clean up and take things from other rooms and finally put them in a better and more proper place. Uh, there's my macrame owl wall. I have several of you and beautiful viewers out there to thank for contributions to this wall. This was really the only one that I added to this wall. I got him pretty recently. Actually, that's my most recent macrame owl. I uh, successfully think I've rambled on long enough about all my gadgets and gizmos, aplenty, oozits and what's its galore. I hope you guys enjoyed the transformation. I can honestly say that I'm so much happier walking into my home now and seeing uh, not such a mess like this room was before. A little before shot there, it's kind of yuck, and then it's just, it's better now, you know, we happy with it. <laughs> so yeah, I totally don't have makeup on while I'm doing this outro, so I'm just gonna ask for you guys to give me a big beautiful thumbs up button if you haven't already. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video at all, and I would love to make more of these types of videos, actually. Comment below if you think Joanna Gaines would approve um, what looks like crap and what doesn't. What is your favorite part of this room? Or maybe you totally hate it. Maybe you totally love it. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's on you, but you know, it's my home. I like it and it makes me happy. And that's the point, right? So yeah. All right. I will see you guys in the next upload super soon. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on. You can't see my face. Uh, give you a kiss goodbye. But let's see if Milo will do it. Will Milo do it? Bye guys. Oh, he did it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>